Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here back through Daily Crypto News and Analysis. And today we're going to be talking about Algorand, aka Algo. So let's just dive in and let's talk about a few things. So as the market is kind of ranging here, and yes, I am recording this a little bit ahead of time. So I do apologize if the prices do change drastically. I am still on vacation for the July 4th, so I do apologize. But nonetheless, when we look at Algorand and it is sitting at about like roughly 30, you know, almost 31 cents. This thing is sitting at roughly about a $2.1 billion market cap. It's insane. Can I see an easy 10x from here to like $3 for an example? Yeah, I could definitely see that in the future. It's going to take a little bit of time to get back into the, that nice bullish standard. Remember, this thing almost hit $3 anyways. It was at like almost $2.40. Um, but the future for Algorand is very, very bright. I've shared my thoughts on you know why Algorand definitely is one to you know continue to watch for i know that a lot of people really kind of just talk about like other iso 222 gems but like as we look at algorand at like you know almost 31 cents compared to something like you know we'll say i don't know xrp for an example like here's xrp at like 32 almost like 33 cents sitting at about like a 15.6 billion dollar market cap like which one would i rather buy xrp or algorand like to me, I'm buying Algorand over XRP all day long. And I know that that's going to be like a very big surprise to people. Um, but I just think that the ROI is, you know, better on Algorand long term. Um, of course, like in a utility driven market, do I think that XRP would have more utility than Algorand? I think that the use case uh, potential behind XRP is a little bit greater in regards to like the scope of the amount of money that it is going after. But I think that these two are safe to hold um, in regards to like a portfolio. Like these should definitely be two that you are holding, um, especially if you do love like a utility driven, you know, asset. So with that in mind, let's move on and let's talk about a few things. So first off, um, I got to say like this is uh, one of the key things that I have been personally looking at. Like here is, you know, a breakdown on why I personally think that, you know, Algorand is also, you know, overlooked. Like we do see, like we need to dive deeper into Algorand. It's always left on the back burner when we talk about ISOs. Now, the reason why I think that it is actually, you know, left on the back burner and not, you know, shown enough attention is simply because like not a lot of people can really kind of find, you know, content to either talk about it or, you know, they just continue to overlook it. And in my point, in my opinion, sorry, um, I don't think that that is a solid point on, you know, reasons to actually ignore Algorand or not talk about it or anything like that. Uh, me personally, like this is such a huge opportunity and uh, we're actually going to be talking about this thread here in a second. Um, but I also, you know, even got asked on Twitter, like somebody said, you know, like what is his thoughts on Algorand? And, you know, I said like Algorand is very undervalued. I have been averaging in here and there, uh, but many of my large buy orders are lower. Solid team ecosystem continues to grow and they are focused on building. Not to mention, I believe it will play a pivotal role in the ISO 222 scene as well. And uh, this is the truth. Like we have been seeing them continue to build out. We're actually going to be talking about that here in a second. Um, but I want to go back to this thread. So if you guys haven't, you know, gone and check out this thread, um, I definitely advise you to. This is from JJ Jeremiah uh, Crypto on Twitter. And this breaks down everything around Algorand. Like this has 500 plus partnerships, carbon negative, you know, pure proof of stake, creating CBDCs, 1.5 trans, uh, million transactions a day, 5 million plus NFTs, hasn't failed, 7 billion CS or circulating supply, sorry, fully decentralized, top of the line, you know, smart contracts, expanding to 40,000 transactions per second, working with governments. And there's so much more to this, but honestly, like, yeah, like the ecosystem for this is absolutely exploding. We're actually going to be discussing that as well. Um, but definitely go check out this thread because it really kind of goes in depth on why you should be paying attention to Algorand. Um, I've always said like this is probably one of the most overlooked and undervalued gems out there. And just so that you guys know, like Algorand is also being chosen for many national initiatives. El Salvador, you know, government infrastructure. We do see healthcare, you know, payments, healthcare payments, vaccine verification, copyright protection, national di digital currency as well. Like. The scope of Algorand is something so incredible, and I don't think that a lot of people are, you know, paying attention to it. And uh, in regards to like the ecosystem, so yeah, like the ecosystem has de been definitely expanding. Utility has been shining as well. 
Uh, we do see here like Algorand joined the YRX you know, fam earlier this month, uh, which means you can now spend Algo in over 80 million retailers with your YRX card. Um, you know, here's three things you need to know about Algorand. And of course they do, you know, really kind of put a little bit of a shine on this. Um, Algorand pledges to be the most efficient and greenest blockchain Two, every transaction, you know, with Algo is completed in four seconds. And then three, they're the official blockchain platform of FIFA. Now, of course, a lot of this, you know, to me is just like kind of bare minimum, you know, facts about Algorand, which of course is just like, you know, three quick ones. Uh, but payments have been exploding in regards to like payment use cases on Algorand, which I'm very excited about. Again, payments is, you know, the main thing that does drive, you know, the success of a lot of these networks and of course brings a lot more demand to the network. Also, talking about demand on the network, we do see here block after block after block, three years, no downtime, uh, time, sorry, no costly failed transactions, no Discord chats to reboot the network. Uh, no inflated transaction metrics, you know, basically a fraction of a cent algo fees uh, consistently, four second transactions, instant finality, carbon negative, it just works. And here we have from the blockchain media, which by the way, if you guys haven't been following the blockchain media, they've been absolutely killing it in regards to like talking about some solid utility gems. Um, but anyways, we do see like the case for algo keeps on getting better. As of today, Algorand has successfully reached another milestone, 22 million blocks and 1 billion transactions. Algo future is secure and definitely like when we look at the statistics, I know that this isn't like the best image to really kind of see a lot of things, um, but we do see like 26.1 million accounts, you know, transactions per second, roughly sitting at almost like 13. Um, we do see like latest block 22 million circulating supply. was like almost 7 billion total supply is only 10 billion, like 10 billion is basically nothing for utility gems. Like I think that in regards to like tokenomics, Algorand has some of the best tokenomics, like even comparing it to like IOTA and things like that. Like I know IOTA has like the less, like the, uh, like a lot less supply than most, um, but there's really not a lot of buzz around IOTA similar to like Algorand. Like for example, like Algorand has a ton of buzz around it. You just don't hear a lot of people talk about it because they're too busy either talking about XLM, XD, like XDC or XRP. And uh, also we do see over here, I'm certain Algorand won't be, you know, here, uh, won't only, you know, be here after the bear. It will be the market leader, constantly innovating and thriving, state proofs, AVM as well. And uh, yeah, I mean, like when we look at the bridge here, very solid. Um, I think that the overall technology stack behind Algorand has been something to really kind of pay attention to. Remember, I've talked to you guys about the team in the past, like the team has a massive extensive resume. Um, AVM versus EVM, Algorand has started the AVM world tour to spread the word um, about its virtual machine. Why is it important and what, or sorry, what are its advantages over the most popular virtual machine, Ethereum's? Well, we do see like, you know, Turing completeness, yes, yes. Uh, consensus mechanism, pure proof of stake, proof of work. They just recently merged to proof of stake as you guys are probably all aware of. Execution speed for the you know 4.5 seconds regardless of the DAP complexity 20 seconds depending on DAP complexity energy efficiency which we know is like it's not even comparable um, execution cost as well <laughs> night and day like you're, you're talking about fractions of a cent twenty dollars depending on the DAP complexity and also like network congestion like remember you know other deed by you know board api club was you know accounting for like over two thousand dollars plus in gas fees which is astronomical um but uh, of course you do see like the rest of the technology here i don't need to read every single one um in regards to like the tech stack on algorand compared to like other blockchain technologies i definitely do think that algorand has a very very bright feature not only from like the technological standpoint but also even like the adoption cycle on it and uh, in regards to like the team continuously growing, here we have the CEO of the Algorand Foundation talking about, you know, very excited to introduce two more new game changing senior hires to the Algo Foundation next week. Uh, CTO and global head of business development and capital markets. And they actually did announce one. Um, now, I don't know if this was one of these two or not, um, but this basically came um, out two days later. Um, we do see like here, I could not be more excited to announce that 20 year old uh, or 20 year JP Morgan veteran, Eric Reg, uh, Eric, and then we do see like his tag on Twitter is a leading Algorand's charge to disrupt traditional finance as we know it. You know, it's a one way street to crypto folks. He's a Twitter newbie, but follow him anyway. And I think that this is very solid. Um, in regards to like traditional finance, do I think that Algorand will, you know, essentially disrupt it? 
100%. And I'm actually going to open this up in a new tab. I thought that I had it open, but I don't. Um, I do apologize for that. But we do see here, and I'm going to zoom in real quick just so that you guys could actually see this and read it with me. You know, uh, not only, you know, are we seeing like, you know, major names around Algo continuously joining the team, um, but their focus is what really is going to drive success in my opinion. And when we look at like, you know, focusing on traditional finance, for an example, and disrupting that area, that is going to be very, very large within the scope of not only the value derived, but also like the volume derived. And we do see like Ray, you know, began his journey into blockchain in search of improvements for inefficiencies in the tr uh, in the traditional finance space, particularly in the areas of payment, settlement, risk management, and financial inclusion. He became fascinated with the possibilities of crypto and blockchain to deliver performance improvements and significant impact in all of these areas. And of course, you know, when we look at this, first off, not only will he report to like the Algorand, you know, Foundation CEO, but we do see here he will also lead global initiatives and strategic partnerships in uh, traditional capital markets, as well as decentralized finance teams working in capital market solutions, DeFi, uh, capital markets, access and integrations, investor relations and office of, you know, the chief economist will report to him. And we do see down here, like he has a vision, deep experience and technical chops to deliver significant opportunities for Algorand across financial markets of all kind. He will be transformational for our ability to deliver innovative and disruptive solutions for many of the problems that plague traditional finance today. And I could not be more excited to have him on board. So, yeah, I mean, like when we look at the efficiencies around Algorand, we're seeing, you know, it has high transaction throughput, immediate uh, final settlement, subheading transaction costs and minimal carbon footprint. Also clearly, you know, differentiates Algorand from other chains that is seems you know obvious uh the world ought to be utilizing algorand as the blockchain platform of choice like you know to me like algorand if you're not holding you know a significant bag of algorand now might be the time to start averaging in um to me like this will most likely be the traditional finance giant um they definitely are focused on payments a lot of these like when we look at a lot of these, you know, use cases around some of these blockchain technologies, like a lot of them, yes, are focused on, you know, the same thing um, in regards to like payments and stuff like that. Um, but I definitely think that when we really kind of look at, you know, Algorand, what really kind of sets it apart is just not only the team behind it, but also like the technology behind it as well. Like this is, you know, probably one of the best blockchains to be invested in, not only from like the, you know, team itself, not only the technology, but also just because it's tried, tested, and true. And also, like I said, the tokenomics around like this one in regards to like an ISO 222 gem, very, very solid. And yes, we outreach to like the ICO pricing as well. Like this, I think was like the ICO price back here at like almost like $2 and like 30 some cents. Um, on our next run up, I could definitely see this possibly even hitting double digit figures. And right now in regards to like the price action, you know, we're coming down to test, uh, you know, some nice lows going all the way back to like roughly December of 2020, which is insane to me, right? Because, you know, even talking about this coming back down to like roughly the March of 2020 timeframe uh, lows, this would be about like 15 cents, which would be about 50% of a drop right now on Algorand to those levels. It could be possible to see those levels, but I'm not going to bet on them. Um, I would say like anything under 30 cents is an instant buy to me at least. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that down in the comments below though. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on that. But with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys, did definitely leave a like, subscribe to the notifications on if you guys have more free content. If you guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord down in the description below. As always, up to you all. Have a beautiful day, a beautiful night. Wherever you guys are on this beautiful world, it's been Nick. Peace out, guys.